The Battle of Albaracene took place in Albaracene and surrounding areas between 5 July and the 11th of August 1937, during the Spanish Civil War. Chapter 1 Background The Aragon Front was, from the beginning of the war, a secondary front, but also a primary objective for the Republicans. The Nationalists maintained a weak position, defending a large line which stretched from the Pyrenees to the city of Tirol, and from there down to the Montes Universales and the birth of the Togas. Thus, it was a tempting target to the numerically superior Republican troops, especially Wesker and Tirol, which were besieged. In order to support the Republican offensive at Brunette and to force the Nationalists to maintain their troops in this front, the Republicans in Aragon planned to launch a small offensive at Olbaracene. Chapter 2 – Developments of the Operations Chapter 2 – Section 1 – Republican Offensive In rapid deployment on the heights that surround Olbaracene, forces of the 42nd Republican Division took positions to attack the city. The town was weakly garrisoned and the Republicans were in a commanding position. On the 5th of July the Republicans broke through enemy lines and on the 7th they made it into the city. The inhabitants were conquered quickly and almost in its entirety, with the exceptions of two concentrated pockets of resistance in the barracks of the Guardia Civil, and the cathedral, composed of civilians with some nationalist military support. The 60th Mixed Brigade did most of the operation, being supported by the other two brigades. On the other hand, the majority of the 59th Brigade was directed towards Hare d'Albaracene to reinforce the positions while the 61st Brigade went to Monterde. After the Republican advance, most of the Francoist defenders took positions on the higher part of Albaracene while the Avision Nationale bombarded the Republican enclaves, from this point on, the Republicans were on the defensive. Chapter 2 Section 2 – Rebel Counter-Attack The rebel forces, composed largely of units of the Legion and Moroccan regulars, began their advance on the roads penetrating the Sierra do Albaracene Comarca. On 9 July the Nationalist troops reorganized to form three columns under the command of General Miguel Ponti. The Republican troops received orders on the 11th of July to maintain their position in Albaracene at all costs and to wipe out the Francoist resistance which remained in some of the buildings of the city, which had been without food or water since the 8th. The Nationalists mounted a counter-attack which beat back Republicans, and on the 14th of July Ponti's troops broke through the Republican positions and retook Albaracene. On the 16th, amid fierce Republican resistance and hard fighting, the Nationalists recovered all the positions they had lost at the beginning of the offensive. Taking advantage of the momentum from the counterattack, the Nationalists moved towards the Montes Universales and again broke through the Republican resistance, which was unable to cope with the rebel advance, and on the 21st the rebels took over several Republican towns. On the 31st of July the Republicans' forces disintegrated in the face of the Nationalist offensive, which continued through the Montes Universales. The Nationalists halted their advance and military actions ended on the 11th of August. Chapter 3 – Result The battle had no influence on either the Aragon Front or the Battle of Brunette, although the Nationalists moved forward a few kilometers and conquered some inhabitants, reinforcing their defensive positions on the southern flank of Tyrol. This area remained fairly calm until the end of the war.